So does the idea of giving your oral treasurer's report make you sweat a little bit? If so, you're not alone. Presenting the treasurer's report or presenting anything in public for most people strikes fear in their heart. But don't worry, we can make this really easy. And the treasurer's report is super simple and it can just be read directly from your notes. Well, let's back up a little. First of all, you wanna make sure that you have all your transactions entered into whatever program you use. Um, if you're using MoneyMinder, then it's super simple. You make sure all your transactions are entered, you reconcile your bank accounts, and then with a the click of the mouse, you run your treasurer's report. If you're not using MoneyMinder, then it might take a little bit more effort to compile that report. But once you've done that, what you're gonna do is print out enough copies for everybody at your meeting so that they can read and follow along as you give your report. Next is your oral report. And I want you to remember that when you're giving your report that you're just reporting on data, that's it. So your oral report might go something like this. And by the way, it's okay to just read from your notes. So I've got my notes here, my treasurer's report, and I'm just gonna read from it. So here we go. You might say something like, hi everyone. So the opening balance for September was $15,349. The total income for the month of September was $15,761. The total expenses for the month of September were $12,836. And the closing balance for September was $18,274. So once you've done that, you might discuss any kind of anomalies or unexpected things that are showing up on the report. And what I mean by that are things like, say the fundraiser brought in $3,000 more than you anticipated. You might note that. And you might suggest an idea that might be used with that surplus. Good job on that. Um, you might also have things that happen like one of your line items might be in danger of exceeding its budget. Or you might have a big payment coming up, so some money's gonna be leaving that account and you might just give the board a heads up. So keep in mind that this can be short and sweet. You'll notice that I rounded all those dollar amounts, no need to talk about cents, just doesn't matter. Um, and at the end of the day, you probably just want to say, hey, does anybody have any questions or need some clarification? And that's where things derail, I find. <laughs> I'll be honest. So that's where people get really anxious um, because they're worried somebody might ask a question that they can't answer or they're not prepared to answer. And here's the deal. It's okay. If you don't know the answer, just say, you know, I think I need to research that and get back to you. Can I present that at the board meeting next month? Or maybe, you know, I, I need to do some research on that, but can I email you when I find the answer? Something like that. Don't feel like you're on the spotlight, okay? Just take a breath, have a response that's canned and ready to go, and that'll take the pressure off you. So just breathe. It's okay not to have every answer at the ready. Totally okay. It's totally okay to read from a report. Maybe just put your own notes on there, highlight the items that you want to read off, and that's all you need to do. So remember, this doesn't have to be memorized. You're just sharing some data with friends, and you're all trying to achieve the same goal. So take the pressure off yourself a little bit and make this really easy. Good luck. So don't go too far. Learn everything you need to know to be a rock star treasure at moneyminder.com forward slash resources.